Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars 2022 set, the Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader. The set retails for £45.99 in the United Kingdom and is from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which is of course signified by the Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting Darth Vader on the bottom there. The set is 75334 and is an 8 plus and comes with four minifigures which look really good. I think it's quite a good selection here. The only thing I'd argue is that the Tala minifigure is in the Imperial clothing and in the this particular scene, she's in her normal clothing. So I think they could have fixed that better, but she still looks good in that. And then it comes with the Ned B loading droid, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Bit disappointed that they don't have the red eyes on Darth Vader because it is on the side of the box, but they don't have it in the set, which it would be pretty good to do, but we'll go with what we have. By the way, something to note during this just little like box review. Sorry for the lighting, it is quite late at night at the moment and I don't have like big lights to have good lighting yet. So it's a little bit dimmer than usual, but I will be filming the set, actual Lego set review on a different day, so I'll make sure to film it more in the morning, so sorry about that. On the back of the box you can see we have another angle of the set with the play features that we can do, it looks like we can stand them on these little circles that turn around so you can make um, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi Jewel, and down here you can see that you can move the actual floor of the set and some fire pops out of it, which is like in the actual scene. Where Darth Vader knocks over, you can also knock over little stones that set on fire and all that, so that's pretty cool as well. You see on the side of the box you have some nice side box art with Lego Star Wars and the set number up there. And then down here we have another angle of Darth Vader lifting up Obi Wan Kenobi. On the top of the box it shows another Lego Star Wars logo there, and then it has Obi Wan Kenobi as it is a new figure. So we have him there, just shown as a new figure of the set. Inside of the box you can see we have the bags numbered up to three, and we have the... This time it's the rendered instructions because that's Lego review, the Republic Fighter Tank review. This is from the summer wave and not the spring wave, so they started doing the ugly white rendered instructions in the summer wave. Which I think is a cool concept, but I prefer them doing it with a background. Inside, obviously, is all the instructions, and then at the back, there is the summer, all the other sets from the summer wave as well. You see, we have the Inquisitor shuttle, which we already did. Having said that, let's, of course, get straight into the minifigures of the set. The first figure we have is Obi-Wan Kenobi. You can see he has his blue lightsaber there with the newer frosted blade there. You can see he has his old manky Jedi robes on from the show. He has his longer hair. He has his utility belt down there on his torso print and you can see a little bit of his skin there. It looks really pale, his um bit of neck skin there, because if you compare it to his face and hands, it looks really pale. So you can see he has his leg printing down here with just some of the robes hanging down and some little socks or something coming up there. No arm printing. On the back you can see his hair coming more down and the back of his robes with his little hood hanging down there as well so he has another face as well which is more like a battle kind of face and then the other one is just kind of relaxed that you just saw next up we have darth vader and oh my god he looks amazing you can see he has his frosted um lightsaber blade again you can see he has his full printing this is a really good version of darth vader from the kenobi series he has the arm printing as well you can see down there he has leg printing with his um, robes just kind of hanging down and then his utility belt and the chest piece and all that as well with the lights. And something that I don't know it popped up for anyone else's sets, but you can see they've gone back to the hard cape um, for Darth Vader. Like, this is in the summer wave when they were starting to do the soft cape for him. They, are, they have a hard one for this one, I don't know why they've changed it i preferred the softer one because it wouldn't get all bent but i don't know why that's just something to note on this character also if you take off his helmet you can see that it's the kenobi version of his face which i think looks really good um i like how they've changed it to when he wasn't as old looking as well like the other 
Darth Vader figures we have, he's more older. But I think he looks really good with his younger kind of looking face as well there. On the back, there's not much to know. There's just his cape and the back of his helmet, like always. Next up, we have Ned B, or the loading droid that you see in the show. I think he looks really good. They've nailed the look for him. He has his kind of two little eyes on his face there. You can see he has... So his whole body's basically, if I take it off, so this is what he looks like underneath. And then you can see... So this is what he looks like underneath if you take this whole bit off. And you can see... He has one yellow arm, one blue arm. His legs uh, always stay the same. But then it has this bit that you put onto the back as well. So the back normally looks like that. And then you put on these two beasts as well, which I think are quite good. So the whole of the body and head are all just one piece, like the Ewoks, that you just stick on like that. And he also comes with his hammer, which he has behind his back in the show. So yeah, he has his hammer as well, which looks really cool. Nothing much on the back apart from his little backpack piece there as well with some nice printing on it as well. Finally, we have Tala in her Imperial disguised uniform. That's the only thing about this figure, which I think they should have changed. I think they should have put her in her normal clothes because in this particular scene that this set is displaying, she's wearing her kind of normal clothes. She isn't in her Imperial disguise. Um, but it still looks pretty cool. You can see she has a hat. She has um, no leg or arm printing, but she has a little blaster as well with the imperial belt and clothing and the hat as well. And you can see her face underneath as well. Not much on the back apart from the rest of the belt that comes all the way around and a bit of the back of the uniform printing there. Overall, I think this set offers a pretty good minifigure selection. They're all pretty much new if you're including the Darth Vader with the new head as well. They're all pretty much new from the new series. I think it's a good selection of figures to have. I think my favourite is probably... I would say Darth Vader, but then he hasn't changed that much. I only really like the face, so I think my favourite would be the loading droid, because I think it just has the most complex design and they've kind of nailed it. But let's get straight onto the set. In terms of the actual set, I think this is the first set where we've got kind of like a land display. Like, I know we have like the new dioramas and that, which are kind of the same. But we haven't really got a set like this as like a kind of a play set. <coughs> I think it does look pretty bland without, like, well, you'll see in a bit, you can make it look pretty good. But you can see that we have the kind of concrete wasteland that they fight on in the show. And you can see there's a little, the te little telegraph pole there that was in the background of the fight, I think. And the boxes of lava stones, well, like the fire stones, I don't know what they're called that vader knocks over to eventually cause a fire which we'll see in a bit and you can see some of them are just scattered across the ground as well you can see there's a little cliff there which you can put tala on so i was saying this little like hump well like little cliff here you can put tala on where she was shooting at the stormtroopers from the show so you can just put her there or you can put her on this bit back here so she can so she can twist that way to shoot. You can see over to the right hand side of her, you can see she there's a little chest of like, I don't know, you can open it, you can spin these. I thought it would be a play feature when I first saw it, but it's not. It's just like a little chest of lava, all those stones again. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I like how you can open it and all that as well, even though it's not really displayed as doing that. And then there's a little bit of land here where on the box shows Ned's B, the loading droid, standing waiting to pick up Obi-Wan after he's been burnt, which you'll see in a bit. You can see in the middle bit here, there's these big circles that spin around. So you put Darth Vader there and you put Obi-Wan on the other one. And then you can just kind of like to see. We've seen this before, like in the um, Dark Trooper Battle Pack set where Luke can like spin around on that thing on the little circle and they can just fight each other and all that shut up what so they can just spin around fight and all that as well so something to mention about obi-wan is he comes with these two little clear bits here so you can when you're maybe displaying it or playing with it so the bit where darth vader kind of 
forces um uses a force to lift obi-wan up into the air so you can kind of position obi-wan so as i was saying you can position obi-wan like that and then you can put the clear pieces down wherever you really want and it's meant to create the illusion that he's kind of being floating in the air i think it looks pretty good from afar you can't really tell like see the clear bits which is cool but you can see him there just floating Turning the set around, you can see back here, there's a little thing that you press down and it makes this move. So that's when Darth Vader knocks over. Um, so these are all loose and you can see that you can press that button down. Um, back onto the set, you can see Darth Vader, you can press this button and it's like when Darth Vader just... <sighs> Take three. <laughs> so you can see you press the button down and the knock over let's go you can see they knock over they spread all over the place like when darth vader kind of just pushes it over and they all fall all over the place and it would be more useful to just stand that back up or just have one of them like fell falling down now or something because the next feature it would get in the way of it so you can just kind of manually spread them around if you want if they're not really good enough so you just place a few there place a few there wherever you want then there's the ones already stuck to the ground anyway around them so what you can do is basically you can pull the set apart and some fire flicks out and if you push it back together there's now fire in between them like in the show i think that's probably the best play feature it's really cool how it kind of flicks out like that and you wouldn't really expect it it adds a lot of character to just the concrete wasteland that we had before and there we go, we have fire separating them, and then the brutal bit of the show where Darth Vader kind of drags Obi-Wan through the fire, but I think they could have maybe used a little bit more, like, of a wider bit of fire, because this is just a really thin strip of fire, but I see why they didn't, because it would have probably complicated it, having to, like, it'd have to have this pull apart more for it to be able to, like, flick out and all that, um, but I think it looks pretty good anyway with the stones all around anyway so that makes it look more like it's spread everywhere to put the fire back you see this little lever back here behind the set so you'll have, you'll, you'll have to pull it back out and then what you do is you just pull this down this way and it will flip back in and you can just push it back together and just like that the fire's gone so my overall opinion on the set is really hard because there's one more thing on to rant on about which is the price 45 pounds doesn't see it doesn't seem like a 45 pound set i don't think that is a reasonable price for the set considering the box size i mean if you look at the tie fighter set up there that was the same box size and basically the same size as this set and that tie fighter was only 35 pounds I think this is more of a £35 set. I think the price tag should have been £35. I don't know if it was costing more to produce some of these newer figures or not. Because that set is basically figures that they'd already had before. These are new figures. But I still think it could have been 40 at the most. I don't think 45 is really good for this size of set um maybe he could have added a, like one or two more figures to it like maybe one or two stormtroopers to be behind Darth Vader there because of the price I'd give it a seven out of uh, yeah seven out of ten I don't think it's the best set for price but even though forgetting about the price the set is actually really good I it's really good for displaying so you can so i'm definitely going to display it with the fire out like that um you can have an ed b there you can have tyler shooting down at the stormtroopers you can have obi-wan floating darth vader doing all this force shit all of that i think it is a really good set for display and play so seven out of ten is my overall rating on the set having said that i'm going to end the video there that is basically all of this set has to offer Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more. Look out for my Shadow Man Manor documentary that's coming out on October 31st at 
p.m. British time. So look out for that, something for you to watch on Halloween night if you're bored and want something mainly scary to watch and you can learn all there is about the Shadow Man to offer. Um, if you want to look at more of my Lego reviews, they'll be on the sc end screen in a second. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day. See you guys.